Dia intensified today as Yin leader, Admiral General Aladdin, dictator. Female guards, who he maintained. Do you have nuclear weapons? <laughs> what was the question? Do you have nuclear weapons? <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. Are you I'm going to another question? <laughs> oh, I can hear you now. Hosted his own Olympic Games. At which he won 14. Often described as the film begins with news of Wadia's nuclear threat, which is led by Admiral General Aladdin. According to the news, Aladdin did not know his mother when he was born in 1973, and we see that the attendant nurse killed his mother by pressing a pillow against her head. He saw the general admiral shoot the clown after he was entertained as a child. We see a young Aladdin holding a gun and dressed as a general admiral, and the news reports that he may be the most dangerous man in the world. Aladdin is being interviewed in the present about the nuclear weapons he created. In addition, he participates in his own Olympic Games in Wadia, which he wins by cheating, shooting a runner and two officials in the feet and aiming with his pistol. He also created a dictionary in Wadian. In the film, for example, the doctor informs a patient that he has HIV Aladdin. HIV Aladdin. Aladdin addresses the nation in Wadia about enriching weapons made of uranium for peaceful purposes such as medical use. Weapons grade uranium for peaceful and clean energy purposes. Aladdin arrives at the nuclear facility with his uncle Tamir hoping to show off his homemade nuclear weapons. However, the nuclear missile they created is smaller than he expected. Nadal built the uranium-made nuclear missile two years ago, but Aladdin informs him that the missile is supposed to have a sharp point. Aladdin instructs the guards to execute Nadal after dealing with the two, but apparently not. As Aladdin returns to the palace, he is shot in the head by a man. Later, we learn that Aladdin is the double and that Tamir is the mastermind behind this shoot. Tamir has found Aladdin's double and informs him that his job is to be shot in the head. Aladdin has sex with Megan Fox at night. He has recently had sex with over a hundred celebrities, including Halle Berry, Oprah Winfrey, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and many others. According to the news, the United Nations has authorized NATO to launch airstrikes on Wadia unless Aladdin personally addresses the UN. Aladdin plays Terrorist 2K12 on the Wii in the palace. While he is playing, Tamir informs him that the United Nations has requested that he address the nation about the nuclear program. Aladdin summons the generals to speak to them about the United Nations. He's playing a role by accidentally shooting a general twice. Aladdin travels to New York City for his UN speech. The streets were filled with anti Aladdin protests and booing directed at Aladdin's motorcade. Tamir hired Mr. Clayton to protect Aladdin for the entire day at the hotel. Later that night, while Aladdin is sleeping, he is kidnapped and taken to the warehouse. Clayton abducts him there and he restrains Aladdin in the chair. Clayton displays various torture tools, but Aladdin appears unconcerned. Aladdin manages to have fun with those tools. Finally, Clayton completely trims Aladdin's beard, rendering him unrecognizable. Clayton burns his beard after trimming it, but he also burns himself, allowing Aladdin to flee. Aladdin walks through anti Aladdin protests in front of the United Nations. Aladdin now sees his double, Efawad, who has been replaced by Tamir. Tamir, Aladdin's uncle, has betrayed him. Efawad is going to address the nation, but he acts awkwardly in front of the delegations from all over the world. Efawad then unintentionally dumps his urine on an Israeli delegate. Efawad is now addressing the nation about the new constitution that will end the dictatorship and usher in democracy in Wadia. Except for Aladdin, the entire population rejoices.
Aladdin attempts to break into the UN, but the police fire on him with a hose, causing chaos for him and the other people. In the midst of her confusion, Zoe extracts Aladdin. While Zoe is driving to her Brooklyn store, Aladdin introduces himself as Allison Burgers. You know, I, oh, could you please take your hands off my breasts? Those are breasts? I thought you were a boy. Her store sells green products such as fruits and plants. Meanwhile, in the Lancaster Hotel, Tamir received a newspaper depicting a warehouse on fire, with one person killed. He believes Aladdin has been killed. Tamir summons the virgin female bodyguards to enjoy Efawada's company. Aladdin strolling through Times Square. Aladdin convinces the guards outside the hotel that he is General Admiral Aladdin, but no one believes him. After looking through the glass, Aladdin notices Nadal, for whom he created nuclear weapons, exiting the building and following him until he reaches the restaurant. The restaurant is called Death to Aladdin, and it is run by and visited by many people whom Aladdin personally ordered executed. The restaurant owner had almost recognized him from Wadia. When the owner asked for his name, he made one up based on the warning signs, ladies washroom, employees mush wash hands, maximum occupancy not to exceed 120 persons. When the owner realizes he is Aladdin, the people who ate inside attack him, but Nadal stops them. Nadal informs him that every person he has executed is still alive. Efawad arrives at the hotel in search of a draft constitution. Aladdin and Nadal are standing outside. Aladdin notices Zoe and runs away from her. In order to get past security, a store inspector hands her a badge. Nadal advises him to get a job and work for her. Then he'll grow an identical beard and, on the day of the event, he'll enter the Lancaster Hotel as long as he has the beard. Aladdin accepts Zoe's job offer because she works in catering at the hotel where the signing will take place. As a store manager, Aladdin punches the customer for no apparent reason. He even gets the man out while urinating in order to clean the restroom, then throws a garbage can as the taxi passes by. He kicks the child after he drops anything in the store. Aladdin confronts the employee who stole the cashier's box money. Later, Aladdin and Nadal join the couple on a helicopter tour. Aladdin and Nadal are cracking a joke, but when Aladdin mentions Osama bin Laden and 9 11, the couple becomes terrified. The couple is concerned and claims to be members of Al Qaeda. The two joke about the possibility of another 9-11 attack on the Empire State Building, Yankee Stadium, and the Statue of Liberty. When Aladdin removes his jacket, revealing the suicide bomb vest, the couple is terrified. <coughs> Aladdin and Nadal are arrested for threatening, but they are both released on bail. Tamir is at the hotel when he hears that Nadal and Aladdin have been arrested for terrorism. Tamir, now that he realizes Aladdin is alive, orders Etra, a large breasted guard woman, to kill Aladdin. Zoe teaches Aladdin how to masturbate at the store. Later that night, Zoe shows the mafram to Mr. Ogden, a hotel manager. Aladdin receives a call from Nadal in his bed, instructing him on how to masturbate as he did earlier. Aladdin tells him that he is ready to tell Zoe his true identity. Clatters can be heard after Aladdin has turned off the lights for bed. Etra attacks him with the enlarged breast as he investigates the clatter. Following the fight, Aladdin locks himself inside the stockroom, but Etra manages to break the door open. Aladdin kills her finally by simply throwing her back into the inflatable pool of water. The next morning, Zoe and Mr. Ogden are surprised to find the store in shambles. Aladdin claims he was masturbating when he was attacked. As a result, Mr. Ogden terminated the catering contract. Aladdin will correct this in order to improve the store. Aladdin starts imposing strict schedules on everyone, creating a personality cult around Zoe, 
and intimidating an inspector into giving the store a favorable review. Nadal has a plan to obtain a beard for Aladdin from the late drug lord Sam Douglas. Sam is dozing off in the funeral chapel. To gain access, Aladdin and Nadal disguise themselves as visitors and sneak inside the chapel to cut off his head. Zoe received word from the Lancaster that their contract had been reinstated because Green World had been closed. The Green World was closed down after one of the customers was shocked to see the decapitated head of Sam, whom Aladdin had previously planted. Suddenly, the husband yells for assistance, indicating that his wife is about to give birth. Aladdin has arrived to assist the woman in giving birth. Aladdin reveals his true identity as General Admiral to Zoe after having pleasure with her. Zoe is upset and breaks up with him after hearing this. Aladdin walks out of the store. The news flashes in Times Square, showing the people of Wadia celebrating the end of dictatorship, breaking his statue, and commenting on their hatred for him. Aladdin attempts suicide by jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge, but is stopped by Nadal. The following day, Nadal assists Aladdin in gaining access to the hotel where the signing ceremony is being held by rigging a zipline across. Unfortunately, Aladdin has become entangled in the zipline. Nadal devises a plan to remove anything in Aladdin's pocket in order to gain access. Aladdin successfully enters the hotel as the zipline gives way. He spotted Efawad and told him to leave. At the signing ceremony, he tears up Tamir's document in front of the UN delegation and delivers an impassioned speech extolling the virtues of dictatorship, drawing unintended parallels to current US issues. When he sees Zoe in the room, he declares his love for her and, knowing Zoe's strong opinions, vows to democratize his country and open up Wadia's oil fields to business, but in a way that benefits the general populace. Tamir, enraged by Aladdin's continued rule, attempts to assassinate him, but Efawad jumps in front of the bullet and survives, claiming that his job is to shoot himself in the head, and Tamir is apprehended. Aladdin will return to Wadia with Zoe to vote in the election. One year later, Wadia holds its first democratic elections, and we see several people in line, about to vote for Aladdin's opponent, but when the tank aims at them, forcing them to vote for Aladdin, and he is elected president. Following that, he marries Zoe, but is taken aback when she crushes a glass and reveals herself to be Jewish. During the credits, Aladdin's convoy, now composed of eco-friendly vehicles, visits a resurrected Nadal, and Zoe later reveals in a television interview that she is pregnant with the couple's first child. Aladdin reacts to the news by inquiring whether Zoe is having a boy or an abortion. Oh. <laughs> oh. A boy or an abortion? <laughs>